to a, a spin cycling festival in Earl's Court and I'm running late. Well, it took me about an hour and 20 minutes to cycle here at quite a slow pace. But um, we're here. Can I fold this up and bring it in? Cheers. Oh, sorry. Oh, I thought it was a guide dog. I thought I just got in the way. No, <laughs> help yourself. I just saw the yellow thing out the corner of my eye. I thought, oh dear. Let's get this off. Yeah. I'm lucky I like dogs. <laughs> Hello, you're a good boy or girl. Cool, man. I love a good bike show. Hey, Stuart. Hi, how are you? I'm a bit embarrassed. I'm a what? bit embarrassed. What about? Look, look who's talking! <laughs> <laughs> and we put it together for them. And it was an early one, and there was a few teasing problems. But fundamentally, I think they're pretty good. I don't know what they're like to ride. You'd have to, maybe we can take one down on the test track yeah, and give it a go. Test ride one. <laughs> A friend, of, a, fr through. a friend of mine is thinking of purchasing one of these and he's just sent me a message saying, can it's you... A, it's sort of a very cool version of the Brompton. Brilliant. It's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a contemporary version of the, of the Brompton. Okay. And that's the electric version, which is ready in September. Okay, cool. And yes. will there be one on the test track later to try out, or...? I... Let's talk to the man. I don't know. We'll, we'll oh, I'm, just, I'm just here to visit my friend. Oh, I'm just oh okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. must stop looking like you know things. I just cut. <laughs> How do we be all the way through? Is yeah. it two or three bikes? Are they um, spaced? How do you like that? For yeah, and the other option is um, because you get the handbars and then the way, but if you if you can do front and back, yes. you can then fit up to about five bikes. Okay, so it's yeah, quite cool. Hey, mate. Hello. Hi there. Um, I'm loving your trailer. Yeah, it's really great. I like your little made. multi directional mic there. Yes. Straight to USB. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, compact. That's what you we can like. Hear my awful grading accent. Yes. By <laughs> definition. No, no. Oh, it's a wind pop. <laughs> yeah. G force. <laughs> oh, Do you want to pull that up? It's a work of craftsmanship. Pull that up. Up you get. Bang. Whoa. Awesome. In kitty enabled. Very, very good. Uh, and if it's kitty enabled, what happens to the lid? It removes. Well, to be honest, our market is kind of people that have the lid on all the time yeah, and never remove it, maybe occasionally remove yeah. it to get a bigger object. Yeah. The, the seat itself and no lid. Yeah. So that's why we sell the base trailer with no kid seat and no lid. Yeah, it'd be cool to have a little... Yeah, I know. It's brilliant. It's a shame that um, if you put it back down... Yeah. So if you fold it back down, the reason you have that... So that clicks in, and then okay. when you take this out, yeah, no. it's one unit. Wow. There's, wrong with There's no really real cool. way to get around that. Yeah. That's cool. And it's pretty easy, straightforward to get back in. Yeah. Once we start manufacturing our own locks, because yeah. uh, this is a marine lock, uh -huh. um, obviously it takes serious in industry to do that. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, squashed like sintered, stainless. Yeah. Uh, once we start doing that, then we can refine a bit more. Mm. Fantastic. So, are you in production? Yeah, we. How yeah. have you made? We've made uh, two beta models. Yeah. Um, now we're kind of looking at a month, uh, month production rate. So, a pr a kind of pre find the design. Yeah. And then, if we get enough followers and we want to go more industrial, right now we, we put them together by hand, yeah. press them. You know, we're making. How does that come off? I was just going to ask that. We're making our own injection moulding with a fly press and a blowtorch. Oh, very oh, good. You know, we're, wow. we're going good. super... Just us. Um, then we'll run a crowdfunder. Yeah. yeah. Once we kind of refine the design a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. And, and how does that detach from a... Yeah, so you just push, push this thumb down. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, that's thing. it. Brilliant. Done. Oh, it's no fiddling cool. down here yeah, like yeah. the other trailers. And then that just uh, stays on. Yeah, um, you can add a pannier rack. 
So you can have it as a useful. Yeah. This is the Mark One, as you can see, Franken rack. <laughs> uh, we just don't have another rack to put it on. <laughs> Brilliant. It takes a while to machine that. So. Cool. It looks yeah. good. Yeah. Um, basically, wow. you know, you don't want to have to deploy the legs all the time when it's just like that. Yeah. So we. Yeah. Just, it has legs. Yeah. Show yeah. us the legs. Just to hold the bike up. Yes. It's kind of subtle. You didn't really know that it no, no. was on him. So you don't have to find a wall all the time. Okay. And you can Brilliant. just roll off. It wouldn't off. work without it. Really, you know? it? No. Oh, wow. Okay. Very good. So you just roll off, simple dimple. Yeah. It's awesome. You can jam the padlock in here, though we've revised this because the padlock jangles. We hate jangling the bits. Yeah, yeah. That's why we've got this lid design. Mm -hmm. See how it wraps? Yeah. It's tensioned. Yeah. So, so not it's only for the water, but that's the main. So it's a snug fit, you won't get loads of noise. Yeah, and... there's no, if, if I preform this to that curve, yeah. there'd be places that it's just jingling. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. So it's got enough stiffness in it just to have that. Brilliant. Yeah. Joe, John, hey, Joe. I'll stick it on the YouTube channel, Velo Ads it's called. Yeah, yeah. Check it out, yeah. Hi. Yeah, you all right, How are you guys, uh, John? Hi, yeah, Terry. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. So, so what's a We're elephant bike about? The old Royal Mail bike. Um, oh, cool. So we're a charity. We send them out to Malawi in Africa. We collected nearly 20,000. We shipped Fantastic. around 8,000, ran out of money for the shipping, and now we're selling a limited edition in this country. Awesome. And everyone we sell pays for another one to go to Malawi. Wow. I think I've read about them before, maybe in a VeloVision once or okay, something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we quite, were there. A, quite a while ago, yeah. Yeah, that was quite good. Oh, there was a photo of me on VeloVision. Maybe, yeah. And it I said something about. Um, heavy hauler and then this big picture of me. <laughs> that's it, like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that's so, yeah, we got them, basically they get stripped down initially by the yep. Fenders Prism. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Then we get them sent away, we get yep. them shot plastic pre powder coated. Yeah. Once that's been done, they come back to us okay. and we rebuild them. Ooh. Now we rebuild them using as many of the existing parts as we can. Yeah. And so they will have existing brake levers, existing wheels. We just clean them up Brilliant. and we recondition them. It's amazing. It's really cool. We do replace the original bells. Yep, the original bells. We do oh. replace the bottom brackets okay. and the headsets for the bearings and yeah. things like that. They're all brand new on there. <laughs> Did they have a back a coaster brake? No, they're uh, oh, drum. Brilliant. brilliant. They're drum brake. That's better. Uh, they're three speed Sturmey Archer hooked uh, drum brake front and rear. So this is elephant bikes and they're only 280 pounds and money goes to charity as well. Yeah, for every one that somebody buys, basically yep. we send another one to Malawi. So we call Brilliant. it buy one, give one bike. Can you that up? That's elephant bike guys, check them out and uh, definitely buy one. It goes to a good cause as well. Brilliant. Awesome bike show. I've been like a really good time here. So much to see. I'm like not spending as much time looking over things as I should. I'll, I'll do a quick run around and then uh, whatever catches my eye, I'll go back and check a bit more in depth. All right, so these are custom titanium bikes. really cool. Nice bike. The perfect bedroom. Ah, and we have Mike Burroughs Lotus bike, which is awesome. Ah, super cool. Oh, they've got a... Uh, that's in 
interesting. Sorry. Do you know much about this bike? No, not really, other than the fact that he rode it in the 92 Olympics. Yeah, Barcelona. Or Barcelona, weren't it? Yeah, yeah. Other than that, I don't know. It's funny, because I race against the guy who built and designed it, Mike Burrows. Yeah. And we ride, like, human-powered vehicles, so we're uh, fully fed, things lying yeah, down. Because they, they did a production version, didn't they, which yeah. was race right, was right yeah. legal, but... Then they kind of uh, killed that. Yeah, it's interesting when you go up to his workshop in Norwich, it's still got like, like the original. I'd like to go back, I'd go, I've only ever been many, many years ago, I went past the bunch of something to this point, I'd like to go yeah. back to him and have Oh, a just go and watch him at one of the races, he's 76, I think. He's, really, he's really fast, yeah. I mean, every year he builds a new, lower, faster, more aero recumbency, so it's awesome. This is for Andrew Allen, I went and checked out the. I uh, can't remember the name of it, the first bike he said to check out. The guy who knows all about it is coming back in a minute, so I'm going back there. But I'm now at uh, a Huga e-bike. Yeah, I'll come and... Uh, brilliant. And, um, Don't worry, this, this is the one which is electric, this is the non-electric. Okay. I'm not sure which one he was interested in, so maybe I'll try both and see. Um, and I have to test ride that Velo thing as well, <laughs> unfortunately. But um, yeah. Wow. You can choose the amount of boost in Finnish. The level of customization is quite high. Yeah. It's basically all made in Europe, assembled in Brussels. So. Um, and the, the the bottle there is the electric. It's the battery. It's the battery yeah. yeah. Awesome. The motor is in the rear part. And uh, what's the difference with that one? Is that more of a racy model at the back? Well, it's that one, first of all, is a bike, not, a, not an e-bike. And okay. second, it has been customized simply having light pedals, which are anti tech pedals because you can take them away completely. Okay, yeah. You have a carbon saddle, which is super soft and cool. extremely light, and then you have a sporty bullet. Yeah, it looks very nice. So uh, this one is, is really, really light. The bike itself is 10 kilos. Wow, that's really light. You can see what it's it gives, and you can have real yeah. time impressions. It's going to be fun. Okay, cool. So this is the for how much uh, power it assists you want, or does that tell you? It will bring you. I think I've only used one electric bike in my life, so. Okay, so that's going to be the second one. Yes. It Excellent. goes away because I've moved the wheel. Oh, it's brilliant. So, you're going to start at zero, mm -hmm. basically the system is up, but it doesn't assist you in any way. It's just ready to assist you whenever you need it. Then you can go up to a level five, where it will assist you up to a level of 25 kilometers per hour. Uh, it's limited to that, mm -hmm. because the European law is not able to go above that. <laughs> it's an assistance, so you see here that even though you're on five, the bike is not running away without you. So you've got to get the pedals you moving. You have to start pedaling to get your bike starting to go. What size is the uh, motor on this one? What uh, do you mean by the uh, size? Like, is it um, what they call it, capacity or 250? 24 volts. 24 volts, yeah. 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 And the battery is 24 volts as well. Okay, because I know they usually do the motor in watts or something. Yes, uh, the watts is 206 watts. 206, okay. The reason why we stay there is that then you can bring it in the plane to go above. If you go and above. The difficulty is to get it through to the plane. Ah, the okay. So that's plane. really good to know. Well, I've just uh, spotted uh, one of the guys who who's going to ride LEL. And um, it's got the Eleptigo here, so this should be interesting. Hey, John, how are you? Nice to meet you. It's Hello. funny that we, uh, yeah, you know, we've been communicating and it's suddenly... Oh, no. I was like, I saw the Eleptigo and I was like... Oh, no. I, I'm, not, I'm not letting you get away without a photo. Although it's got eight gears, yeah. um, but it, although, and it's got a long stride. That green one is our entry-level model. Okay. It comes with eight or 24 gears. Um, but it's got a shorter stride, so the step is much higher. So it feels a bit more like a bicycle, but it tires your legs a lot faster. Wow. So, you but know, this one is more got a, that, a bigger arc. This one, not actually a bigger arc. It's just more forward and backwards, less up and down. 
so that saves your legs. It's like going upstairs one at a time. That one's like going upstairs two at a time. Whoa, yeah. So you wouldn't really want to do all dacks on that one because it's tough. So that's like a short trainer to that's really, right, that's right. To really so, get your tip Yeah, and, and for cyclists, you know, if you can only ride an hour during the week, yeah. you'd rather go out on that. It will still make you fit for a bike, yeah. but it gives you twice the fitness in that hour that you get. And then on the weekend, you ride your other bike with the club. And the one on the other side? The one on the other side is like our top of the range one. Let's that's the one for all dacks and all that stuff. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. So it's got 11 gears. It's got the same long stride, but these are all made of carbon fiber, so lighter feet tires you less. Wow. It, it folds. So this is kind of our top of the range, but it's very similar to that other one. And it, what's the model name of this one? It's called the 11R. 11R. Yeah. Cool. So, and that's because it's got 11 gears. So even though this one we've got a 24 speed, yeah, that helps you with performance, but it's not going to let you go longer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So for long, so the, this 24 gear of this, it can match this for pace, but after about three hours, this one starts to go ahead. Yeah, then the, then the, the benefits show on this that's one. That's right. Awesome. Well, there you go, guys. That's the Eleptigo. Check them out. <laughs> Back at the Velo bike stand, and um, I had a request from Andrew to check out the Velo folding bike, which is, uh, looks really cool. I'm going to test ride one of these, and uh, we'll try and check out the fold and try and get that on, on camera, so you can see how easy it folds. Um, I'll put this on the... Uh, does that go just like that? Yeah. Okay, okay cool. This is Valen Valentino. Um, he's the main man and he's going to show us how, how it works. Okay, go ahead. Awesome. So saddle up. It's similar to a bump on that bit. Put it out of the way. Wow. That's how you unfold it and that's really quick. Awesome. And then back down again is just in reverse. Okay, so if you stop somewhere and you, and you need to go into the supermarket or something and you haven't got a lock with you, it's quite straightforward. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Quite compact as well. Awesome. Wow, thanks very much. That's cool. Okay, so we're going to... Are you guys ready for a test ride now? Yeah, or? yeah both of them. Yeah, okay, this cool. This one I already tested. Mm -hmm. This is... Uh, 2015, we're in the market. Uh -huh. um, cool. Well, yeah, like two years, beginning of 2015, and uh, we're developing since uh, 2013. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. And uh, how's it been going? Have you oh, sold many? Yeah. Um, Yeah, a lot of people seem to be going for electric now, don't they? They seem to be getting more and more popular. The best thing is our concept was to, to get speed out of them. Yeah. So it's not about to be more lazy. You still have the pedal. Yeah. But you get much faster. Yeah, it's up to speed. So, yeah. So this is the test track, uh, which is really big. It looks more like a go-kart track. And... Uh, Quite a few recumbents and uh, recumbent trikes whizzing around. There's the one, uh, the Scorpion I reviewed with the electric assist. Uh, this is the uh, Ice Vortex, Circa, Tandem, Tutera. And This one has like uh, more uh, tracking bike components. Okay. Well, both of them are for the city, but if you want to have more style of trekking bike, mountain bike, this is the right one. Okay. So this is more like a racing bike type. This has, for example, XT. It's a trekking bike, mountain bike uh, gears. Yeah. And this one is uh, one, 105. It's more like a racing more bike. More road. Yeah. Road. Okay. We're on track. Oh, wow. Okay. This. Right, we're on the velo. That's the name of this bike, Folder. It doesn't feel like a folder at all. It feels really, really solid. I like this. And a really nice riding position. The handlebars could do with coming up the fresh. I feel like I'm stretching a bit. But 
This is the, uh, the Velo and it's the road going version. Ooh. I prefer this one. It feels a little bit more twitchy, but uh, it's faster, easier. And it actually, uh, I just think the, the fit fits me better. Yeah, this is great. Get this one, Andrew. Fantastic. This is the one you've got to go for, Andrew. There's Stuart on the, on the road bike version of the Velo. It's really nice. What do you think of that one, Stuart? It's really nice. It's kind of like kind of this, Yes. But I, I prefer that one. But yeah, this is also like that. If you ride this one, you know, when I ride it in Vienna, there are girls coming to me and they never, before that, yeah, they, never, they never talk to me, you know? <laughs> okay, so we're on the Ahuga. Tita's going to do a quick demo on uh, how it folds, which is really cool and kind of her. She's here? Yeah, that's great. All right, so I think first I will just cut off yeah. my electrical system. Okay. And then I have a full step sequence. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. You're going to be straight. You don't hurt your back. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's really good. Can I feel how heavy it is? Oh, right, sure. Thank you. Oh, that's fine. Wow, it's okay. It actually feels about the same weight as my Brompton. To be honest, it is. Yeah. It is. It's about the same. Yeah. Uh, Without the electrical system, you basically take, so you take away three kilos in a bit. Mm -hmm. So there you have like just a pack of water, then you take that's awesome. it. It's a really nice bike. I mean, all three bikes I've tried today are really good. Great. Yeah. I mean, Andrew, so yeah, um, there I'm you go. Unfold it, so you have Yes, to... that would be really good as well. So, Andrew, this is uh, unfolding the Ahuga. And the model uh, of this one in particular. What, what, what's the model of this one in particular? What do you mean by the um, Is it just uh, an uh, Ahuga and that's it, or is it like an Ahuga R1 or. Oh, this is the Ahuga Essential, and then we, are, we have Ahuga Comfort Plus. And Ahuga Light Plus. Okay. So Light Plus, you're gonna have some components that are gonna make your Ahuga even lighter. So is that the one with the carbon seat? You well, not the carbon seat to be honest. It's a, a leather seat that you're gonna have on that one. But you will have indeed the detachable pedals. Yep. You're gonna have uh, another type of pedal. You're gonna have well these tires. And then on the Comfort Plus, you're gonna have tires that are Marathon Plus. So, uh, so no punctures. Yeah. Exactly. With integrated uh, system suspension, suspension, yeah, really. awesome. and you will have what we call the comfy pedals. That's our fender. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, okay. awesome! I was, I was wondering what they were. No? So they are basically light folding fenders. I've never seen anything. <laughs> now, how cool is that? <laughs> okay, now on the food Had to ride it. It's, it's a bit short for me, but uh, it gives me memories of my old bike. Cool, man. So, this is a food Challenge. Speed is the one I tested earlier. Possibly, it goes about yeah, 15 and a half miles per hour. Um, awesome. Do you want it slower or do you want oh, it as fast as possible? Right, you're good. Gears are there, 11 gears in total. Play around with it, I'll start you in the low one. It's already on the highest setting, man. Awesome, so just wait that with my phone. Yeah, yeah, change it. It's in the two uh, grey ones, higher or lower for the gears. Uh, speed is there, but it's already on the highest. Awesome, cheers, man. Enjoy. Alright dude, how are you finding it? Alright? Yeah, it's super cool. The acceleration is really good. Scorpion <laughs> MS-86 going around. First time on a challenge Fujin. He's got a big smile on his face, so he looks like he's really enjoying it. What do you reckon? That's really nice. So nice, so yeah. easy. Yeah. You have to adjust that a bit. Yeah, you could have a stop. I had a stop, so it didn't. Um, yeah. yeah, you can adjust it. So. Yeah, there's nothing to it. And the brakes are lovely. Everything. So what's that? Two and a half grand. Um, Depends what spec you can get it for about 18, I think. Well, really notice the difference to any other recumbent is climbing. Really? Oh, it's like a feather. Yeah, I suppose it's like you're on a, a you know a diamond frame carbon yeah. fiber thing. Phenomenal. Awesome. Hey again, Hello. Joe and uh, Joe's having a go in Questy, and Joe's from um, Australia. So that's it, and they do a really nice wooden trailer. Awesome. Off, off you go, Joe. Enjoy.
<coughs> oh, it's Questy. It's on the test track. Questy is coming around now, Joe in the hot seat. And it looks super cool. Hi there. Hi, I was just admiring your crash helmet. Yeah, yeah. Torch. Um, torch. Fantastic. I was wondering, how much do they retail? £85, but we're doing a show special for 65 Brilliant. Today. I'll yeah. just get a bit on camera and I'll stick it on the uh, YouTube channel. Awesome. And it looked great on the recumbent as well. Super yeah. cool. And it's called a Torch. Torch T2. Torchapparel.eu. Or torchapparel.com. Lovely. Thanks Thank very you. much. Okay. I've had a thoroughly good time here. Anybody in London, if any of you are in London, come down and check it out. Spin uh, Cycling Festival. All right, cheers, guys. Great fun. Take care. See you again. Okay, at the moment, I'm on the way home and I've uh, just seen a droid going down the high street. I'm trying to follow it. Um, hi there. Um, um, what's the name of your company? Okay. And we build these robots, we maintain them, yep. we operate them, and we offer them as a platform to businesses local, for local deliveries so of half a mile to a mile. Ah. Somebody is testing the obstacle avoidance system. Right? Yeah, <laughs> it looks like it's frightening everybody. <laughs> Go on. Awesome. Look at that. Super cool. So is it just checking? Check the all the directions are clear of traffic. Wow. Ensure that it's safe to cross and cross. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing.